Depending on the project, security of your audio transmission may be very important. You never know where TMZ might show up and try to record the next Christian Bale outcry. The good news is, with the TRX wireless system, you don't ever have to worry. The encryption settings allow you to completely safeguard your wireless transmission signal so no other person can receive your audio without the correct encryption code. Every wireless unit transmits an encrypted signal by default, meaning that you cannot receive the signal with anything but a Zaxcom receiver. Furthermore, it allows you more protection, allowing you to select a completely random encryption code that will ensure that your audio transmission is safe. Unless a spy picks the correct six-digit encryption code, one in 16 million choices, he isn't going to hear a thing. So, let's take a look at this encryption process in depth. As before, let's start with the receiver. To enable encryption, enter the extended menu. Press the menu key seven times to access the first encryption code page, labeled ID0. This is the right three-digit portion of the encryption code. Using the up or down arrow keys, scroll up or down to create a unique code. To select a number that is above 100, you can hold in the up or down key and press the other arrow key to speed up the process. Press menu once to advance to the last encryption code page, labeled ID1. Follow the same instructions to select a unique 3D code for the left half of the encryption code. Make a mental note of both of these numbers. Restart your receiver. Let's move on to the transmitter now and enter the same code. Enter the extended menu. Press menu repeatedly until you advance to the track name page. From here, press and hold menu to advance to the encryption code page. This is where you enter the encryption code that you previously entered into your receiver. Use the up and down keys to select the numbers in each column. Press menu to advance to the next column. Once you have entered your number, make sure that it matches the receiver's encryption code and restart the transmitter. If you had paired the transmitter and receiver before you enabled encryption, you will notice that the LED is now green again. If the numbers are not exact, you will see full RF strength, but yet will have a red light. This means that the receiver is seeing the signal, but it cannot properly decode the encryption. Now, a receiver set for encryption will still decrypt audio from a transmitter on the same frequency with no encryption. If encryption is not needed, it is recommended to leave your encryption codes set to zeros to avoid confusion. There is also an alternative approach that allows the receiver to assign a new code every time the power is pressed. On the receiver, enter the test menu by powering down the receiver and holding both arrow keys while powering it up. Repeatedly press the menu key until Secure Off is displayed. Press Up to turn it on. This tells the receiver to automatically generate a new encryption code every time the unit is turned on. Continue by setting this number into your transmitter. Although this approach is simpler, remember, every time the receiver's power is cycled, you are going to have to enter a new code into the transmitter.